Hello, oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, the last one kind of ended abruptly when I lost internet connection. Man, that's loud. Um, but we are back. I bought some diamonds off of Sonic to use to m make a quarry. So I made out a quarry, and I went ahead and made a st uh, Sterling engine, is what they're called now, um, to power it. I need to set it up, but I'm trying to find an ocean biome, and I remember there's one down here. Um, also, we found a village, but we haven't explored it yet, and it's down this way. And that's where we're heading to now. Gosh dang, I'm losing him. Are we going the wrong way? I'm coming. You're just up ahead of me. Oh gosh dang it. Mm. Let's see if I can take a, take a shortcut over the mountain. No, apparently not. I kind of lost you. Uh, My yeah. friend's still going south. Yeah, just keep going south. It's like on the end of a peninsula down there. I have physically seen it, I just didn't explore it yet. And I don't think it should be that hard to find. Okay, I remember this little water pool here. I think that means we're halfway there. It's a little bit farther than I thought, I guess. I'm catching up. Oh, I see it. I'm hoping there'll be some railcraft stuff in there, or something that could be handy for my operations. You're wanting to find Thomcraft or Tinker's construct. Tinker's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the railroad station's here. What is this guy selling? He's selling empty petrol containers. That's. That's handy. Oh, and then a workbench here. Uh, I'm gonna take that. So I have a workbench to make a train a train crafting station now. It's the first one out of the three that you need. Oh gosh, there's a hole here. Well, who's the blue guy? Oh, this must be Tinkers. Let's see. There we go. Well, that's one way to get out. Is there anything in this one? No. There's the church. Oh, there's something up here. What is this? Is this a giant well? Oh, what is this? Oh, and this is a new house. Oh. Oh my gosh, they got a lot of stuff in here for you. I only need a couple things, so... Well, I'll take whatever you don't use, because I'll probably get into it eventually. Oh, there's Give a, me a back. chest. Okay. Hmm, yeah. Oh, I'm taking that piston. Okay, free piston. What is this pattern chest? Okay. There's an axe head. Anything up top? I'm guessing not. Yeah, no. This is like the like one of the default houses. It's just a little bit a bit bigger. What's this uh, thing over here? This looks like the uh, tank that you got that pours out material. That's a smeltery. So if you want to take it all, go ahead and take it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm guessing it's not full or it's not finished. It, yours looks a little. That's up. That's completely functional. Oh really? I'm gonna say yours yeah. looks a little bit bigger. Because the taller it is, the more competitive. Oh okay. Well, you have to teach me how to use it then. 
Oh gosh. I broke an axe on it. It's interesting that they, they just have this sitting outside. I would think this would be something that you'd find inside of a building, but I guess it's kind of big as w to put in a building as well. Almost. I don't need. Do I need the uh, smooth stone around it as well? No. Okay. I'll just leave that then. Is there anything else around? Nothing in there. If you oh. want to take everything that's else in this building, go ahead. I don't need anything. Okay. I'm going to get potatoes. I thought I saw some carrots. Yes, carrots. I'm not taking all of it. I'm just taking enough to start a farm, and then that way whoever comes next to the village can take some food as well. There's plenty of wheat. We could probably take that, make bread out of it, and then replant it so the next person that comes can get it. Okay, I'm just going to take these tables too. I'm sure these tables will be ha handy. Wait. Oh, you can put the patterns in a chest and then pick up the whole chest with all the stuff in it. That's awesome. I'll leave that one. There's nothing under the floor or anything, is there? No. Okay, I was just curious. I didn't think there would be. I think you missed something. I missed something? Where'd you go? Oh, I see you. Yes, I forgot that I, I found the train station. I remember that earlier. I forgot that there's rail cars at, behind it. Oh, and there's rails, which I'm going to have to replace these later because I'm going to actually use this railroad station. This will be where I build my base at. Will be near this town. Um, but I can use these rails, and that's just enough to make a book and have one set of rails left over. So I need to make a railcraft book. Oh, and these lanterns are pretty nice. I'm going to take these, too. <gasps> oh, okay. Scare me to death. I thought it disappeared. Okay. That's... Oh, they're different. They, they're all the same color. I guess when you place them, they, that's when they change colors. And there's nothing else inside I wanted. I mean, there's mushrooms in here. Oh, there's some more lanterns in here. Okay. I'll have to replace these anyway, later. Uh, I wish you had a better trade. Seriously. Your trade is worthless. If I could trade you for an engine, that'd be great. Alright, is there anything else around? Oh, there's another Tinker's Construct over here. Where? Uh, over by the church. Like, right in front of the church, where I'm at. I want to take that piston. Oh, I left stuff in that chest over there. Because I didn't take the chest, I've got other stuff in it. Oh, it was empty. Okay. You must have grabbed the stuff that was in that chest. That's fine. I just didn't want to leave it. I got two railroad cars, so that's awesome. When you're done, let me know and I'll grab everything else. Look, look in the church while you're there. I don't think there's anything ever in the church, but... Okay, I think that's it for me. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Even if I don't need this stuff, I can always trade it to people later. Uh, well, that's why I grabbed all the uh, pre-built stuff. Yeah. Like, even if I don't need all these materials, I can trade it later to people that need it in order to get, like, real craft stuff that I yep. need. 
Honestly, I'll probably use rails as a type of currency <laughs> with me. There's nothing in the well, I'm sure, but... Yeah, just a boring, normal well. Oh, I should see what kind of trades these villagers have. Raw beef. Wheat. Oh, he's got he's got wheat. I'm gonna grab a, grab a bunch of wheat and trade him wheat to get some emeralds. Okay, I'm gonna head back on Okay, sounds good. We can try to go explore for other villages later too. I'm gonna have to dump the stuff back to my base before we do a whole lot of more of stuff. I just yeah, I just need to plant Set these seeds down so that the wheat will grow back. Might as well harvest these carrots and then replant some. Well, I'll just fill this in with weed actually. If anybody needs carrots, I'll just offer them out. But this would be a nice supply for food. But since I, I plan on coming back to make this a, make, make my base around here, because there's there's a lot of ocean around here, and that's where I'm going to build my quarry. Quarry at is near the ocean. Two, three, four. Nope, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. I need a book. That's going to be the next thing I need. I should change that so it actually says it. So it does it a minute before, or a minute after, so it's not saying the 59. Okay, well, that was a good, I think that was a good s start. So I'm going to add a waypoint here. I'm going to make the Tinker's house my starting base, I guess. Waypoint. Edit. Duke Village. So I was thinking about changing my name to, my, my channel name to Red Fox 1. I think that sounds kind of cool. But I don't know. I don't want to, because if I change it and then I change it later on, it's, it's going to cause problems. So I want to make sure that if I change it to something that I, I absolutely want that. Uh, the idea behind behind the name would be Red Fox One would be like, uh, it talks about like it's like connected to to how I like foxes. I think they're like they're awesome. So it's kind of like that. Uh, it's kind of a Spice and Wolf reference a little bit, just because um, Holo is a wolf, but she looks more like a fox. And it's just because of the type of wolf that she is. I forgot to trade wheat. Oh, dang it. I'll go back. Well, I'll wait. Uh, is there anything else I will need? Okay, I need to make a rolling machine. And I'm not sure how to do that yet. Oh, that makes you happy. I got a caboose and I got a passenger car, and they're the light they're the lightweight ones too. Um, so I can get like a really tiny engine to use to pull them. And hopefully it'll be cheaper to get started. Because they're very lightweight. Um And I'm going to have to expand my railroad that way. I'll leave that. I'll do that later. Okay, so Let's go set up a quarry. Let's see how that goes. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna use my waypoint to get there. Waypoint, Duke Village, teleport. 
I hate just using teleports all the time. I like to be using Arid. But since I don't have it yet. You know, I really should have just left that smelter here. Since I'm going to build my base here. That's okay. I can just rebuild it later. I don't have to worry about somebody taking it while I'm in the process of building. Oh, there's ore up here. Okay, what mod has this ore spawn above the ground? Cause it's so weird. Oh yeah, I forgot you went there. Okay. Okay, well... Oh, there's some more over there too. Okay, like I said, we need to set up a quarry. The sooner we get it set up, the sooner we can get materials to start rolling in. Um, how do I want... Oh, welcome, welcome back. Um, so, how do I want to set up the line of quarries? I don't... The reason... I want to set them up in the ocean. That way you don't visually see all the... Um, holes in the ground that they cause. And I'm going to go ahead and use the build craft ones instead of using the other ones that you rec recommended. Just because. Oh, there's a meteor down there. Two meteors down there. Oh, we got a new follower on Twitch. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Shut up on the stream. That's awesome. And Brendan said he refer he prefers Red Fox One, and that's the one I prefer as well. So that I think I'm going to need my channel to that. Can you do a handstand? Um, I don't know. I I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> if you really want me to, I can try it. I guess. If you do a handstand, I follow. Okay, okay. Well, I'm I don't know. I haven't done a handstand in a long time. I'm, I'm actually kind of doing that. I'll just do that as kind of curiosity. I'm going to have to make room. Hi, back. See if I can. Okay. Oh, God. Ouch. Well, that was the best I could do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like a I need to go to the uh, chiropractor at some point I seem to have pulled a muscle in my neck it's like a needle's just jabbed on my neck I've had it for a couple of weeks and I just felt it oh God. okay okay well thanks thanks that's the first time I've ever tried doing one I think <laughs> I can't remember if I've ever done one before or not okay so anyway I need to set up a uh, quarry um I'll do that. I'll just make a wooden... I'll just make a dock that goes out this way to set it up on. Sounds like the uh, vacuum cleaner is running upstairs. Sorry about no the noise that's got going on up there. Okay, so... The one time the vacuum cleaner has got to be running is when I'm actually uh, trying to stream. Thanks for the follow. Okay, so, oh, I was not expecting that noise out of that. Sounds like an anvil. Oh my goodness, could the, could that be any more, less annoying? Please, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, I think it takes a while for these things to get started up. Oh, oh, that's a cool animation. That's cool. I didn't. It didn't used to do that, where it would throw the pipes up in the air as it built it. Hopefully it's not, the vacuum's not running too long. Let's see if we can take a look at it. It's, oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's got a long way to go to, to, to the bottom. I'm probably not going to be getting any dirt out of this since I'm 
since I was mining the, the ocean, but I should get tons of sand, I think. Okay, so we got that set up. I have a base um, over by spawn, and I'm going to try to move everything over here um, and make this more of a permanent base location. Um, so the, some of the mods that we have installed are Railcraft, Traincraft, we have Tinker's Construct, we have Buildcraft, which I just used. Okay, later. Thanks for coming for a little bit. Thanks for the follow. Um, so my plan is to actually build a railroad. Um, to get here from spawn. And I'm wanting to use Railcraft, which is what... Are you Railcraft? No. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I need, I need you to reset your trade somehow. Um, so I want to try to get that set up. So I need to, I guess, just go ahead and start making chests so I can start dumping stuff here. Oh, there's a chest there. I'll just put this stuff in there for now. Okay. Well. Oh, and wheat. I I bought. I got this wheat for a reason. There's one guy that was wanting wheat. Oh, it's right. That one. Not enough. Hey, one one emerald's a good start, I guess. Okay. So. Until I get the railroad set up, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and use wave, waypoints, especially to transfer all this stuff over. Okay. Uh, oh, I left my, my axe behind. That was dumb. Oh, well. So I've been living in a railroad tunnel so far, which is kind of pathetic, but... Um, it's, it's something to start with. Okay. And that's going to be changing here in a little bit. Okay, place that there, place that there. I'll sort all this stuff out later. I just need to get this stuff over here. And I want to take my axe back. Waypoints, home. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. That was a bad idea. Um, I'll just be quick. I probably sh should be more uh, consistent with how I'm putting that in that chest, otherwise it's making it take longer to organize that stuff. Okay. Put a chest there. All right, go back. Home, teleport. All right, before this stuff despawns, and grab this stuff. Oh, I got plenty of room. These uh, workstations are really nice because when you put materials in them, they actually stay. In yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, Duke Village. So I need to rename this. Spawn. And rename, well, I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. So I'll just make sure that all my tools are in the chest that is behind me. And that'll help this, this that'll help a lot. Carrot, potatoes, okay. So like the survival items, I'll just stick here. That way, if I need stuff to survive, I can. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, we're gonna go check on that. Cor that quarry. Quarry. Yeah. I feel like I always pr seem to like pronounce it slightly off. Oh! Oh! I forgot to make a chest. Oh! Oh! Stop! Stop that! 
I feel stupid. I feel really stupid. And there's probably tons of stuff down here on the on the floor now. I mean, there's probably no minerals or anything yet. I hear a spider in, in the bottom of the ocean. So there must be a cave down there somewhere. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay. Well, that was that was sheer stupidity a little bit. Okay. Well. I need a chest. Where was my wooden planks? There we go. Crafting station. Okay. Get a double chest. I have to get pipes somehow, too. I can't remember what the pipes are. I'm going to look that up real quick. Okay. Um... Build craft wooden pipes. I'm sure the rest of the pipes are probably made the same way. I just need, I just need to figure out how to make these one things. Okay, it takes glass. So I need to take the sand, take the furnace, and throw sand in it. And smelt it. Oh, you can't shift click charcoal into a furnace. That's saddening. Okay, and then I need... Oh, I just used up all my wood, didn't I, to make those chests. So, oh, I need a tree farm to get going. Do I have any trees? Got two. Oh, that's really disappointing. Um, I'll just use, use my axe. Oh, so does uh, Tinker's Construct have any, like, super axes or anything? Like yes. That? Oh, it does? Yes, it does. It's like the timber mod where you destroy the bottom block and the whole tree comes yep. down. I want, I want, I want one. How expensive are they to make? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so it's probably something. Give me, uh, uh, set up your uh, smelter, and you can make it pretty easily. About twenty iron ore, and about four pieces of gold will be set. Oh, I already have that. I need some food. I, re I realize now I left it in the chest. I'm gonna end up rebuilding it right where I stored it at, so now I feel even more dumb. Okay, and then food was in this chest. My pickaxe. Organize that a little bit at least. Torches? Where are the torches? There they are, okay. So this, this, and this. Is there a certain way to, that I have to set this up? Or is it just make a giant? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I don't remember exactly where all the pieces went, but I have the frame here still. Does The bottom needs to be filled in with these blocks too, I bet. There we go. Give me a second. Okay, so there's one layer. Gosh dang it. I'm just going to build it here. I'll move it later. Because I really don't know how I'm going to make this set up yet. Okay, so... I have these things. Uh, do they need to go in any, any way or of any kind? Oh, and I have stuff over here, so maybe I might have set, have some materials. I'm not sure. Uh, where did I put all my tinker stuff? One, two, three, four. Okay. You need to get rid of your corner blocks. You were my corner blocks. Oh, so okay. I see. Do I need to the, get them in the corner on the ground like that too? Still. The only thing that matters is the inside portion has to be seared bricks. Has to be what? Seared bricks, so the same block. Oh, seared bricks. Okay. I have six left. So I have enough to do... Well, continue... Uh, uh, continue... Getting out of the corners. 
Oh, this corner I haven't destroyed yet either. So I have a little bit more. Oh, do I need the... Can I replace the corner blocks to get on the ground? You can replace anything on the floor as long as the 3x3 uh, three three on the inside is seared bricks. Oh, okay. I can, ha I can make this three tall then because I can just destroy these corner blocks. Yeah. Okay. But take your crafting station or your uh, stations and your... Uh, take these four things that you put out and uh, pull them out. And do what with them? Just pull them out right now. Pull them out? Okay. Oh, this side needs finished. One, two, three. There we go. I just hate those holes in the corner. Okay. Uh, I spawned it just so I don't have to go back to my house and grab one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Should have something called a smeltery controller. Put it right where I just destroyed the block. Uh, I do not have any smeltery controllers. I just have these two things. That's it? Yeah, it didn't come with one. Okay, then what you need to do is... Do you have sand? Uh... I did. I don't have any sand with me, no. You need sand, clay, and gravel. Sand, clay, and gravel. Okay, I gave you all my clay, and I do have gravel. Uh, I've got more than four, I know that. Where's that for well, you I, don't need the clay blocks. You need the actual clay stuff that you get from my hand. Okay, I don't have any of that. I don't have any sand, so I can try to go find some real quick. Can we just much... set it up for you, creative? Um, sure, I guess. Well, most villages, you should have it uh, complete. Okay, so yeah. Th yeah, this one didn't, didn't seem to come with one, because I, I didn't notice any strange blocks or anything. Oh, I have these pattern chests. I was going to place those down, too. I can just make one later and throw it in the ocean or something and let it despawn. And make up for that. Smeltery. So, do I just throw any ore in there, or can I only throw one at a time in there, or how does that work? Okay, right-click on your thing here that shows the fire icon. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, on the and, left uh, side. However many uh, slots you have is a spot for one piece of ore. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times three, eight, and eight, sixteen. Uh, plus... I'm getting a phone call from an unknown number, so I'm going to ignore it. I'll put the pattern chests here, I guess. Why don't you just put it back in the house it was? Because uh, I'm going to use that as a storage, just for storage and stuff. I'll probably actually make an actual like blacksmith building here, where these chests are. Well, I'll tell you this, you Bobby, cannot have your pattern Bobby, chest there. Hey. Oh, okay. I'll just put them in the house then for now. I can always move them later. I'm just kind of limited on space in here. I only really need one furnace for now. Oh, I can just... Whatever. It doesn't have to look nice, it just has to be practical. I'll, I'll be building a house eventually. Oh, switch to the, the sides. Oh, the, there are holes. That's to pour stuff out in. Okay. I see. Okay. Um. 
I feel a little disoriented. Oh, I was going to make uh, with this glass. I need, I need some wood. I don't have any wood. Well, I know I, where I can get some. Nah, I won't destroy a house just to get resources. I mean, there's plenty of trees around. I just gotta go get them. Oh, that one I planted earlier is probably grown. I think I noticed it was. I just need I just need one tree. Now if you want to come back here, you're almost done. Alright, I'm I'm here. I'm just behind you. Okay. So now I make these into logs. Or into planks, I mean. And then I need like that. That gives me eight wooden pipes. Now I need cobblestone. I can do the same thing and that gives me cobblestone pipes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Done. Yeah. No. Done. Oh, done. Okay. Awesome. So then how do I use this? Okay, first you uh, right click your uh, small tree controller. Okay. Put your ores in. Oh, what ores do I need to make this? Anything in ore form. Anything in ore form. Where's my ores? Iron ore. Um, ten. Does ten uh, work or just vanilla ores? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It Most. Works. Um, yes. Okay. Most. Uh, most even modded uh, ores will work by it. But you need to be careful because uh, a lot of them will mix together. Okay. Um, here's what I've got with me. I've got... Uh, does gravel ore... Can you use that in here? No. No? Okay, makes sense. Uh, I got iron ore. I got 36. That's probably a lot. So I, I'll try to get rid of those. Um, did you say I needed gold in here too? Uh, yes, you will need gold in there for right now. Where's my gold? I got seven. One, two, three. How's that look? Now you gotta wait for it to smell. Okay. And then what you do is you need to go get your uh, two. patterns. You'll need a stencil table first. Oh, what's a stencil table? It wasn't here. Uh, I have a, six crafting stations. I have, oh, here's some. Part builder, there we go. Stencil table. I'm gonna have to make a blacksmith building just, just for this. Okay. Oh, is that the stencil table? Yeah, okay. Okay, wrong thing. There's parts builder, I think. All right, give me a second. That's yeah, part builder. Tool station, stencil table, part builder. Wait, which one's the part builder? Okay, there's the part builder. Okay. Uh, what you do is you need to put a stack. I usually go about a stack of cobble. Just throw it in there. A stack of cobble. Yes. All right, and that goes in the stencil table? Uh, part builder. Oh, the part builder. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it goes there. Uh, usually it goes to the top, but I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. Now, uh, you take uh, whatever thing you're trying to make, and you take the pattern for it and put it in here. Uh, do I have the pattern in here? Axe head, I think I need that. And then I'm going to need like the shaft for it. Are you trying to make an axe? I want to make the axe that where you chop a tree, it gets the whole tree. Okay, you need the broad axe pattern. The broad axe? I don't think I have one. Mm. Not in that one. Wide board, wide guard, wide board. Yeah, I don't have that one. 
Okay, now what you need okay. So that means you need to make the stencil for it. Okay. So get two sticks and two pieces or two planks. Two sticks and two planks. Yes. Okay. Put those in a two by two crafting grid. Okay. You should have got something called a blank pattern, correct? Uh I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. What order does it Put it in your crafting grid in your inventory. Yeah, it is. You should have got a blank pattern. Uh, n Oh, wait. Which way does it go? Oh, diagonal. Uh, okay, I got it. Put a six diagonal. I see. Blank pattern. Okay, now you put the blank pattern in your stencil table. Stencil table. Okay. And then you find the thing that says broad axe pattern. Broad axe. Uh, nope. Nope. It looks like an axe. It looks like an axe. That's the only... Axe head pattern. I don't see broad axe. It should be broad axe. Uh, chisel... Broad axe. Oh, broad axe head. Oh, that one? Yes. I don't even see that as an option in here. Oh, wait, it's, it's, that, it's that one. It's the left of the creeper head. Okay, I see it. So then, how do I just click on that to make it? Yes. Okay. And then I put that in the pattern. Okay. Yeah, now you put that in your pattern. Okay. Stone. And then you take the stone thing and comes out. Okay. I, t I got a stone broad axe head. And now I need to make the shaft for it. So I go back to the stencil table. And I need the, uh, um, tough rod? No. Tool rod. Is that what I need? Tool rod? Yeah, tough tool rod, the creeper face, oh, and yeah. the tough binding. Tough, tough, I see tough rod tough pattern. Tough binding? You said the creeper, creeper face? Yes. Okay. Uh, tough binding. That's tool binding. Tough binding. Okay. And I do the same thing that you did with the axe pattern. Uh, tough rod. Do I need the tough rod pattern? Yes. Okay. So I got three. Is that all I needed? You should have a stone piece for the broad axe, the creeper head. The tough rod and the tough binding, correct? Oh. I have the creeper head, I have the tough binding, and I have the tough rod. And I needed the tough axe, is that what you said? You still need, do you still have the stone axe head? Yeah. You should have four pieces, correct? Uh, I have four patterns with the, yeah, I have the broad axe pattern still. So the I have stone pieces. Stone pieces? I just have one stone piece. You should have the broad axe uh, stone piece, the creeper head piece, the tough rod, and the tough binding, correct? Oh, yeah, give me a second. Uh, yeah, oh. Yes, yes, I got all four of those as stone pieces. Okay, now come over here. Okay, all right, come over here. Whoops. Okay. Now take your stone pieces and place each one into a different crafting or ah, a different table. I see. That makes sense. There's the axe head. There's the creeper face. I'm not sure what the creeper face is supposed to be for. There's that. So now you right click them to form the gold. Like but you're, you need like two more pieces of gold. Two more pieces of gold? Okay. I can yeah, do that. So there's two each. One, two. There we go. Oh, you can actually see them inside melding. Oh, I didn't realize that's yeah. how it worked. That's cool. Now get up here and right click them, but do not remove the gold piece. Okay. You can creep her. Oh, I didn't realize it was fully done. 
Makes sense why I remove now remove one gold piece for right now. Okay. Put and place your last one. stone piece in it. I think that was the X. Yes. Okay. I wait for your gold to smelt and then do it again. Okay. I'm gonna have to drop my stuff off of my chest real quick. That team can with me. Okay. Done yet? Oh my goodness. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Oh, it's almost done. So it takes a little bit, but. Yeah, it's fair. Done yet? Oh gosh, dang it. Done yet? <laughs> Impatience is starting to sink in a little bit. Hey, it says it's done. Okay, now right click it. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Do I not have enough gold in there? It says I have four gold ingots in there. It just changed positions to the bottom. Oh, okay. Yes. You click what, whatever's on the bottom will be what's uh, uh, poured what poured. out. Oh, th I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. And you said this actually doubles your output of ore, or is that a different different? Yes. Thing? So I when I said you put it, you put in two, you got four back. Okay, that makes sense. And but now it only works if you're making tools for this mod. Yes. Then now, uh, is there any more gold left in there? Uh, I don't think so. Oh yes, there is. There's two more gold left. Okay, now here's what you do: click on the iron, and it should move it to the bottom. Click on the iron. Oh, I see. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, and then I need. And now that's moved iron. Now you right. Nope. Put your gold piece thing back. Oh, my gold piece goes back. Yes. Oh, oh, this is the mold. This is the gold. Is the mold. The it's stone mold. was was the pattern. That's your that's your framing basically. Okay, that makes sense. Now you pour your iron into it. Now I pour my iron. Iron's on the bottom, so I right click on that to pour iron in these. Yes. This makes sense, and it seems realistic, except for being able to change what's on top and bottom, I guess. But other than that, it seems realistic, like how you make the patterns and stuff. Okay, and then I need that. I need that. Hey, pull them out. I need that, and I need to replace this with the other gold one, which is the creeper face. No, well, that's not that too. That. There we go. And then I need to. Oh, dusting it. There we go. Set that. And then that will change to silver or iron or whatever when it's done. Ah, there we go. I love this mod. Okay, so now I d go to the tool crafting the tool station. Is that what it is? Oh, wait. How do I do this? That one? Oh, an iron one. Okay. Uh, now you click on the axe. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I'm I'm screwing up my inventory. Okay, uh, I need what's it called? The broad axe. It's no, the second one on the top. Second one on the top. Lumber axe. The lumber axe is a broad chopping tool. It can fell yes. entire trees. I yes. On it. Okay, that's what I want. And, and then, then I place the, piece, the iron pieces into it where they belong. Okay. Now, can you make stone tools with this too? Or I mean, it's not as efficient, but. Because I actually have stone tough binding in here. Oh, uh, you probably can, but if it, it's just easy to use them for molding. Okay, well, I've already got the, the, the gold frames, so I don't need these these plates anymore. This. Correct. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a stone one, too, I guess. Okay. I mean... It don't, it don't work that well, but... I mean, it, it just, just so I don't have four spots in my inventory being taken up. And I can always make no, more. I mean, it's just cobblestone. Oh, that tree's not green. Okay. Um, now you know how to make tinker stuff. That's awesome. You got me addicted already. Okay, these gold plates I need to take out. And put these plates in a chest so they don't get lost. I should probably make this more announced that I actually live here so people just don't, like, just take it. Um. Oh, duh! I can't just use a stick to make place a sign. I actually have to make the sign first. Okay. 
I didn't mean to make six of them, but whatever. It's fine. Gosh dang it. Wait, why can't... Uh. Uh. Why can't I put text on that sign? Um. That was weird. Okay. If I spell it right. I might re actually name this village village Sakura village or whatever like the old town or like the town old server. But for now I'm just going to name it Duke. That people know people know who lives here. And now remember, these do not break. So all you have to do is repair them with iron. Okay, so they they do have durability, though, right? Yes. Okay. And to make something more efficient, you use redstone. So I can actually make this axe more efficient already. I'll use the stone one, and then the stone, then the stone one breaks. It's you know it's just done. I'm not gonna repair it. But the iron one, I can keep going. I can make a diamond one eventually. I'm guessing, right? What? I can make a diamond one eventually, right? Like that's how it works. I don't. I believe the only two things you can't make them out of is diamond emerald. Oh really? Is it so? Are gold tools in this mod worth anything? <gasps> oh, that's amazing. Think about it this way: it can be smelted down. Say what? Broken iron tools can be smelted down. Oh really? That's that's even more efficient. That's awesome. Now, can you enchant these tools at all? No. That sounds fair. I mean, they're practically enchanted already. Like these. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, this is amazing. I think that I think that this should be just part of the game. Although the only com the only complaint I'd have about it is I think that since you're chopping the entire tree down at one swing, however many logs are in the tree should be the amplifier, so how much time it takes to destroy the, the bottom log. That way, if you're, if you're destroying like the super tall like jungle tree, it should take more time to, to destroy it than it would just a normal tree, if that makes sense. I'd, I'd say that's that's pretty realistic. In real... In, like, because realistically, what you do is you chop the tree down, and then you have to chop it into smaller pe pieces after you chop the tree down. Unless you're super Hercules or something, and you just haul the entire tree away with your bare hands. Oh, this is wonderful. I will never need another axe again. I will just have to use these forever. If I go mining with with them, I'm gonna have to uh, take a cup, make a couple of them though, so that way if they get low, they don't break. I know what you do is you grab your tool station or the wood version, and then Caleb. you just bring it with you. Okay. Hi, Caleb. Nice to see that you're checked into the stream. I hope I'm not super late on the chat this time. Uh oh, the uh, leaves are in the way. I'm gonna have to take a look at all the other different tools that you can make with this. I can see why you guys wanted this mod so badly. I just hate I just hate the idea of like game breaking uh, mods and stuff like that. Although I wouldn't say it's a game breaking; it just makes things easier. So that's one thing I worry about, like when I add mods, is if it's gonna be game breaking or not. Okay, so that's how that works. I was talking to Ghost. Oh, I think he means you, maybe. I don't know. Oh, somebody else in chat. I'm not. I haven't. I don't. Even, I don't have my Twitch open like I normally do to see what's going on in it. 
because uh, I'm only running on one and a half monitors right now. <laughs> and if you see my setup, that makes sense. Um, but uh, normally I have my Twitch open, so I can see what's going on. I have the uh, something it said was. Oh. Oh, huh. Okay. I'm kind of lost in wh what what's going on with that, but okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's quarried stone over here. Is that used for anything in Tinkers? No idea. No idea? Okay. Because there's quarried, quarried stone, and I know you can smelt this down to make something else with it, because I tried doing it, and it actually does work in a furnace. There's there's an oil uh, thing over there. Oh, I need to go set my, my quarry up. I was using a speech AI thing. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's fine. Honestly, you could probably join. Um, I can try to walk you through it if, if you decide to try it again. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to set up. I had trouble with it as well myself, and I just restarted from from scratch, and I got it working. Um, that seemed to have been a lot of the problem, I guess. Okay, so I need this. I need this. I need to make a redstone engine, and I have no idea how to make that. So let's see if I can guess and check my way to do it. And if not, I'll break down and actually do it right. Okay. Redstone engine. Is it like this? Oh, I need more logs. Oh, that table's so nice. I can I was in the middle of making something and I can actually go to the next station. Walk me through after stream. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I don't know how long I'm streaming for. I don't pl I didn't plan on streaming for too long. I kind of just started streaming just to show the village that we were that me and um, Sonic were going to explore. And then I wanted to show it getting my quarry set up. So I probably won't be streaming for super long, but I want to show that. Okay, that is not how you make a, pit, uh, a redstone engine. How about that? No? Okay, one, one more guess, and then I'll look it up. Nope. Gosh dang it. That's not what I wanted to move. There we go. Okay, I have no idea. Wiki. Redstone engine actually I should just see if I can use the uh, twitch over overlay oh I need to actually open up the uh, wiki page for it oh I need wooden gears I feel stupid everything in buildcraft requires gears now I feel super stupid it wasn't that far off oh and I need, and I need glass and I don't have sand I need to go get some sand real quick and throw it in the furnace there's sand over here. Just enough to get this started. I don't like all this gr this wild grass around here. I think it looks. I think wild grass looks nice, but there's just so much. Um, it just seems cluttered. Oh, I need to throw that in the furnace. Oh, I where did I put my furnace at? There it is. Okay. I am going to need to build a couple more of these kind of building. Oh. My mind, man. I'm just losing it today. Gotta charge up my iPhone. Okay. Oh, because that's what you used to call. Makes sense. Okay. Well, I'll get everything else put in here. That is a wooden gear, right? Yeah. But it, it's just been retextured from what the wiki says. Oops. There we go. I need a redstone engine. And there we go. And I need a chest. Which I thought I had some. There they are. Oh. Uh, it also said, you remember Ethan, best friend Ryan, his brother? I said yes, he can, and they are nice. Yeah. 
even just remember that one. Brother said yes. He said they are nice. Yes to what exactly? Am I responding to chat faster? I'm hoping I do. I feel like I'm I'm doing a lot better. Okay. Back back to constructing. Oh, that's why I can't run anymore. I need to eat. Come on. Okay. So I need a wooden pipe to come out of the quarry. And then go there. Actually, that should fill it with coal as it mines coal, I think. Let's see if this works. I think I might need a redstone engine. Oh, I don't? I didn't even need that. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay. Oh, that's... That is so nice. Oh, that is so nice. I'm going to be able to have tons of resources from doing this. Okay, I need to make a daylight sensor. Because I only want this running during the daytime. And the reasoning for that is it makes it so that this engine doesn't overheat and then explode and then I lose the quarry. Because you have to keep it from getting red. I'm not sure how long it takes for it to get red. But I'm hoping if I make a daylight sensor it will turn off at night so it will cool down. Although I could make a redstone clock and try to do it that way. Since it is daytime, I'm going to take a look at the bottom down here. Uh, there's no sand. There's just a bunch of gravel, which is actually kind of nice because I need gravel. Uh-oh. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Get up there. Ah, oh, okay. Did that last time, too. I need to build a safe way to get down to the bottom. Uh, like a dive, like a diving rig or something, just like in Subnautica, which I haven't played that for a couple of days. I, sh I haven't played it for a week probably. Oh, I suppose I remember them. Uh, what have you all done with the server? We set up spawn. I'll show you the spawn real quick, actually. Waypoints, spawn. So I went ahead and set up spawn, which when you spawn, you should spawn in this wooden building in theory where it says spawn, um, but it doesn't always seem to do that. This building here has got commands so you can set the time to day. It will make it a little bit dark because it will make it at sunrise. So if you wait like a minute, it will then be day. So you get a little bit more out of it because if you set if, if you set it the time to day or set it to zero, it will actually have like a part of the day gone. This gives you sunrise. And then you have a button that clears the weather as well. I need to fix that because right now if you hit one button it makes the, the one next to it run and that's not what I wanted. Actually I can fix that right now before I think before I forget really easily. The button needs to go on the block underneath it. Okay. Like that. There we go. Uh, I made a railroad station at spawn because I want to have railroad set up on the server. So that's what this brick building is. It's just supposed to be like a railroad station. And then it leads to these tracks. And I'll try, I'll, I'm going to try to have trains running regularly, if I can, on the tracks. Um, if not, I'll just have it run out on command. When somebody wants a train, it'll run a train. So that's going to be my personal project, is building a railroad system throughout the whole map. There's a I wanted my three mods that I wanted was buildcraft, railcraft, and traincraft because railcraft and traincraft is gonna take a lot of materials and buildcraft I can use the quarry to get those. And Tinker's construct is nice because I can make tools and double my output of resources so I can only, I'm only using half of what I would normally uh, use so I can use the rest of those materials to make rails and I'm having and I'm pretty sure that the Tinker's construct you cannot use to make like actual uh, rails so it's not useful for everything that I need it for but it's nice to make tools and there's probably other things you make out of it that's really nice too and Sonic is super into that he knows he knows everything about it sounds like 
And then I have a tunnel set up here. I was living here. I was I literally just moved out of this like 30 minutes ago. I was actually living in that. Oh, I can actually get rid of that waypoint. Cause I already have one for spawn. Okay. So yeah, I was living in that tunnel for a while. Uh, and then I'm expecting the town to kind of build out this way since it's all flat and grassland. And I have the railroad track set up so people don't build their house right in the middle of the track. But they can build anywhere around it and stuff like that. And I'll just continue the tracks in all four directions. North, south, east, west from the spawn location. And I live south. Yeah, I live south of spawn. Um... Oh, I forget there's waypoints. I'm only going to use waypoints. Here's the deal. I'm only going to use waypoints if there's not a train that can take me there already. Because teleporting is just takes away from the whole point of having trains. And I got these two passenger cars because there's actually a railroad station right over there, which is what that book building is through that window. It's a railroad station, so and it had those two cars sitting there. So I was able to get train cars. I just need the locomotive. Um, if I find other villages, I can see if there's a... If if the railroad station and those villages actually sell trains. Should make railroads to houses. Yes, that's the idea. The idea is I'll make railroads that go all four directions, north, south, east, west, and then I'll have branch lines that can go off to somebody's house. So if they want to go to their house, they can just throw a switch or hit a button or something, and it'll take them to their house. I think Railcraft has something in it called tickets. and I'm not sure what they do. But what it sounds like you can do with them is it, it sounds like you can actually like get a ticket and it will tell the train where to go by like you holding the ticket or something. Like I said, I have no idea, but they have tickets in, involved in it, which means there's some way of routing the trains. That's what the ticket's supposed to do. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't think of any other use that have for it. Uh, and I need to sort all of this junk. I need to sort all this junk so badly. Need that? No. Oh. Paper chisel? What is a paper chisel head for? Oh, actually. There's a built-in chisel function with tinkers. It does have nearly the amount of options, but it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's all the different things I can make. Crossbow is a precise ranged weapon that loads bolts. I don't want a crossbow. You said the bow wasn't very good for anything, though? None of the bows are really that good. You can just as easily make a Minecraft bow. They do more stuff. But they're a lot more efficient than me. But performs worse with light arrows. So, in other words, if you make a longbow, you have to make longbow arrows. You can't just use the default ones. The biggest thing is, is uh, um, you can use regular arrows with them, but they won't do as much. That's what I mean by light arrows. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a mod to use sort chest by button. Yes, I'm not sure what that was. I think it might have been convenient. In no, it's not convenient. It's inventory tweaks or something like that. There was a mod to do that, um, but me sorting chest does not necessarily mean sorting the items within the chest. It means sorting it so each chest holds this particular modded thing. Um, actually, this right here was actually a spawned building with thumb with uh, not thumb uh, with Tinker's construct. And um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm actually going to build a whole bu whole bunch more of these, and then each building will hold uh, stuff for each mod. Um, that's something I'll do off camera because it's going to take a long time to build all those buildings um, oh I was going to look at what other items you could build that's not what I wanted oh I need this stuff out of there where's the patterns there can you put the casting in the pattern chest no but I use I usually just grab a, a chest right beside it Okay, I was just wondering to save space since I have two of these pattern chests and I don't think I have enough to f even get one of them full. Okay, so... I feel a bit scatterbrained right now trying to figure out what all I want to do. What's this? Ma Matic? The cutter Matic is a versatile farming tool. It is efficient on wood, dirt, and plants. Uh, special ability hoe requires parts. So it's like a hoe. Okay. Long sword. Oh. 
Okay, so there's broadsword. The broadsword is a defensive weapon blocking cuts damage in half. Special abilities block damage, moderate durability. A broadsword is a two-handed weapon, isn't it? Yes. Do you actually use it as a two-handed weapon in this game? I think that'd be kind no. of okay. I was gonna say I think that'd be kind of hard, but I could see. Okay, uh, long sword, charge boost. Okay. Uh, damage moderate. That no, doesn't say on that one. Lunge. You can lunge with a long sword. Here we go. Rapier, armor pierce, quick strike, charge boost. I want a rapier. I want a rapier right now. Okay. And that almost sounds like something else. Uh, whoops. Okay, so I need... Does it say what I need? No. Okay. I need one of those, one of those, and one of those. So... Knife blade. Mm. I need the di like a diagonal -y looking one, I think. Knife blade. Uh, full guard pattern. I have no idea. Gosh. The rapier is a special. Okay. Well, are any of these things rapier stuff? No, I didn't think so. Okay. Welcome to my home. Ah, here's where all the stuff is. Okay. So to make a rapier, I need... Um. Oh, I actually have to put a blank pattern in there. So it was sticks and paper. The patterns are planks, not paper. Er, yeah, planks. That's what I meant. Like I said, I feel really scatterbrained right now. Not sure as to why. Okay. Eight blank patterns. Probably way more than I need for now, but I can even later. Stencil table. Crossbar pattern. I think that's what I, I seen that I needed. Um, I wish you, it would tell you what you need when you clicked on it. That looks the same. Okay, I need the... T oh, I need the uh, tool... Thing. Oh gosh. Wasn't one of these a tool? Tool rod pattern. Tough rod pattern. I have a cup. I have a couple extras of some of these. So. Oh, that's not a good idea to leave that in there. Okay, so. That is like a medium level thing. The main way to repair or change your tools, place a tool in the material in the left to get started. Okay. Um, I needed... Look, It looked like that one. Sword blade. What's this one? Knife. Large blade. Okay. So sword blade pattern sounds right. Um, how do I know if I need a tool rod or a tough tool rod for an, an item? Uh, it just depends on what you're making. I'm making a rapier. No, it'd probably be tough. Tough? Okay. Okay, so. Let's head over here. Oh, I need to put gold in there to make the patterns. You can't make the patterns using a, uh... Using, like, iron, can you? You probably could. Oh, you probably could? I was just wondering. It'd probably be better to use gold. That way you can actually see the item inside. Where is my gold? Oh, I've only got two gold left. Hello. Double BBB. Double BBB. That reminds me of a YouTuber I used to watch. What was his name? B double O. I haven't seen him in forever. I used to watch him like six, four, like maybe five or six years ago. And then I went to college and kind of stopped watching stuff like that, which is kind of sad. Okay. And then I need sword blade and do I have enough to make that no <laughs> that's the second person I've had come on the channel and do something like that I don't know why but okay 
Real donations should actually have a scroll that goes across the top that says so and so and so donated. But I don't have a donation page set up yet. I don't really have enough followers that I think that it'd be worth it. Um. Oh, I need gold on the bottom, and then I can start pouring that. I don't have enough gold for that. I guess not. I did have two pieces of gold left. What is yellow right used for? Okay. So when you place an ore in there, you can actually see it through the glass. That's that's actually really cool. Here we go. I have stone stone pickaxes. I'm just gonna go ahead and use them up first before I use my new tools. Just so I don't have them sitting in a chest wasting space. Either that or I'll just give them away. I, I just I just hate the idea of just throwing something in the trash. I, I guess I'm just weird like that. Do I have any saplings? I was hoping I had some saplings. Ah, there we go. I need to make a, an actual tree farm and not just a forest over here. Okay, now I gotta let this grow. That's interesting. Where does this go? What the frick? Sonic, you should see what I'm seeing right now. Thank you, sir. There is like a shaft of water that just goes straight down. It's behind the church at my uh, in my spawn village. It does not surprise me. After we had to remove all the super ores. This is like a straight down shaft, though. Like this is. And it leads into a cave, which is kind of cool. I see daylight? What? I didn't know it was that I had a cave this close to my, my new base. Oh my gosh! That is so... That is just... Just saddening. That is just saddening. He spelled thanks wrong. That's how you can tell. Oh. Yeah, that's true. That and the fact that it, if he donated, it shouldn't show up blue, and I don't think it should show up in that spot anyway. How's that chest doing? Any goodies yet? Well, gravel is always good. Cobblestone's nice. It will it actually sort this this way if I actually may tell it to. Iron, tin. It'd be nice if it actually sorted this stuff that way. Since I since I got oh I think it does. Oh that's amazing. That's awesome. Okay so. Eventually, as the as this thing expands, I want to be able to be able to building a railroad station here, not just that little red one sitting over there. But I'm actually gonna be building a railroad station, and um, I'm gonna use it to dump. Like it'll be a freight station, I guess. Well, that one's a passenger station, and it'll be used to dump, to pick up f uh, freight from quarries or whatever they're on the map and bring them here, or take them from here and take them somewhere else. I don't want to build all my stuff in one spot. So, like, I want to have, a, like, an oil refinery somewhere else. And, I, and that, that way I have to use the train to haul resources from this location to the, re, the, the refinery and then back. So there's actually a use for the railroad. See? See how that works? And it works like a real one that way. Um, what was I going to do when I got back here? I can't, I can't remember. I feel like I'm so... So... I don't know. I feel like I'm losing direction. I need some direction, I guess. Okay, well, put this stuff in there for now. Uh trying to think of my trying to think of my mental checklist of what I was supposed to do. So I was supposed to get the quarry the quarry running, which is oh, I need to check to make sure it's not overheated. I don't want to hear a big explosion and then have it overheat. Is it red? No, it's green, so that's that's fine. Okay. It might take a while before we start getting any kind of resources. 
Uh, that's good start. I'm gonna leave that stuff in there until it gets until it needs to be changed because I don't have. Oh, I need to build a storage room, so I can do that. But I'm gonna do, like I said earlier, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these buildings because I actually like that. It's plain, it's simple, it's easy to build, and it actually fits the theme of this town. So I'm just gonna build a whole bunch of them around. I might even move that one around a little bit just to make the spacing between buildings a little better. Uh, but I'll move this stuff around. This railroad station is going to have a problem because the tracks lead right into this house. Which means I'm going to have to either move this station, which is going to be a pain, or move this house, which I really don't want to do because it's, it's a naturally spawned house. Um, where does this lead to, actually? This is one block left of that door. Oh, actually, I'll just do it this way. So it is one, two, three, four, four blocks in. If I can, re if I remove this house and it fits the rest of the way through town, I'll, I'll just remove the house. One, two, three, four. So where this glass window is. So can I get through the rest of it? The church is in the way. It does fit through between that fine. Well, there is something else I can do. I guess I can move this platform out a little bit more by one block and it will help it shimmy along the side of this house right here and then I can actually have it just take out this one little piece, piece of the church and that house will be have to be removed or at least made smaller I might just rebuild it somewhere else because I don't want to get rid of all this stuff landmine Okay, where are some other trades? Wheat. I don't have enough wheat yet. I'm going to have to try to get some stuff set up to protect this village from invasions, for sure. Well, I can at least have this made, I guess. i got to wait for the quarry to find gold. Remove house. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'm going to move this before I forget. There's a hole there. Oh gosh. I fell in it anyway. Does this go anywhere? No. Okay. I'm just stuck in a hole. Well, there's some coal, but I'm not worried about that right now. All right. Let's see when you get back. Okay. I'm gonna need some actual bricks now to extend this platform out just one block. Which I think it looks better that way anyway, because I, th I think that I feel like this platform is too short to think of somebody actually sitting here waiting for a train. Yeah, it just doesn't feel natural. I'm gonna have to take some, get some dirt and fill some of these holes in around here too. Is that done yet? Yes. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. Oh, oh, whoops. Can I put that back in there? Well, that's done. Um, okay. I need some gold still. Uh, I might actually have to go caving, old-fashioned wise. Unless I want to sit around and just wait forever for that, that quarry. Which I don't want to. Any more saplings? No? Well, I'll see if there's any wheat grown and I can trade wheat with that one guy. Raw beef. That's the guy I need to talk to. Be in here? Nope. Alright, how much wheat has grown? Oh, 
Oh, Caleb, you missed it earlier. One of the guys that was watching the stream earlier, I think he might still be here. He asked me to do a handstand earlier for a follower. I thought it was kind of a, I thought it was, you know, I didn't, I wasn't expecting something like that. So I tried to do a handstand for the first time in like a long time. I actually had two people watching the stream before you came, I think. I, I have rain meter installed where um, when somebody chats in Twitch, it will actually display on my screen in front of my face so I can see it without having to look to either monitor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um... I want to get a mod set up so that when I am streaming, it will, using rain meter as well, it will tell me, like, how many people are watching at a time or who is watching, stuff like that. Just so I'm kind of curious if anybody's watching or not. There's a cave here, too. Tin. Coal. I just want, oh gosh. That looks, that looks really promising, actually. Oh, I got 40 wheat, so I can try to trade with that guy now and get one more emerald. Where did he go? That's the butcher, so that's the guy I need. I'm missing one wheat. Oh, gosh, come on. There's maybe one will grow real quick. Yep, there we go. Well, I got three emeralds now. Well, I w in a second I will be. Phone's ringing. <laughs> I probably should get in the habit of unplugging the phone when I'm actually playing. Or when I'm actually streaming. Okay, so. Where's all my logs? I know I have logs somewhere. There we go. I'm going to... I hear running. Upstairs. Maybe I should have answered the phone. How big are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This house is going to be moved anyway. The question is, do I have room to build a house of my own here? Okay, so I could, in theory, start the house right here. I'm going to have to move this house. I'm not just going to remove it. I'm going to move it, which means I have to dig it all up and then move it somewhere else and rebuild it. Because I I just hate the idea of destroying a naturally dis naturally spawned village. I'd rather work around it. But that train station would be a lot more of a pain to move than just moving this house. And it shouldn't be too bad. It, I mean, it's these houses are pretty simple anyway. Okay, so let's make some planks. No, I didn't mean... Okay. I didn't mean to make that many, but okay. Let's just start. Wait. Yep, I screwed that up. I guess this is a point where a normal axe would actually be helpful still. When you're trying to build something. What kind of floor does this have? Oh, it's got a wood floor, but there's cobblestone at the door. I probably shouldn't make everything just copy paste. Like I shouldn't just make everything like look like these. I need to actually have regular houses as well. But for now, where's my hammer? There's my hammer. This will go so much faster with a hammer. Oh, it doesn't work on grass. That's disappointing. I mean, that's fair. That's that is fair though. I need a shovel. 
Welcome back. I'm doing a little bit of building on the stream. Gosh dang it. I'm building up the town a little bit so I can have other places to store my stuff. I want to have one building for, for each mod in theory. Move it out of the way. You know what? You need to... I'm not going to punch you to get you out of the way. So I want you to be friendly and trade with me later. There we go. Now, if you step back in that hole I just pushed you out of, I'm going to be upset. Okay. Two, three... Oh, I can't jump that high. <sighs> Still in the way. I feel not so lonely living in a village. Gosh dang it. You're quick getting in my way, guys. Oh my gosh. Just move it. There we go. door there. I don't want to start destroying that house until I'm ready to move it. So I'll just leave it for now. You can stand in the house if you want. Just don't stand where I'm trying to build. Oh, that those oak planks would want faster than I thought they would. And I can fix that wall later when I actually move that house. That's going to be a long process, so I don't want to do that on, on, str on stream. It's hard for me to think like about building something and talk at the same time. With practice, I might get better. That's why I usually do my building stuff off stream. Because I feel like it wouldn't, it wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't be as talkative. Well, I don't really need to make... I need to make, put the fence up there, I think, to make it look better, but I really don't need to wait. I don't need to make up access to the roof. Oh, I'm missing the windows in it. That would be nice, I guess. Hey, can you quit... Uh, can you, like, don't drop anything here for a quick second? Can I drop everything? What? Check on Cory. Oh, the quarry. Seriously. What, what do you what do you what what do you want? I can put everything in a chest if that's what you're trying to ask me to do. No, what I was going to do is as a command or whatever to clear all items. I'm currently oh. like a thousand blocks away mining. I have a lot of items here. It should just clear your own items, I think. Yeah, go ahead. I'm I'm empty. I gotta check on the quarry. I gotta make sure it's not overheated. Every time I try to say, don't worry about it. Okay. Every time I, s I try to say quarry, I feel like I'm saying Corey. Like that's my best friend's name. Hey, I got I got some uh, coal. <gasps> There's a mine shaft down there. I can get some rails, maybe. I got up. Uh, well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Oh, that's that's cool. So the coal that I catch is that I mine is actually going straight back into the engine. That's awesome. Um, so there's a mine shaft down there, which is nice. Um, so there's 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 rails down there, right? But. The water from the ocean is filling in the bottom, and the rail's getting popped off. So, they're down there right now, despawning, and I have no way to get down there. Because if I go down there, I'm going to drown. I'm going to have to f figure out a, a way to get down there safely. Um... Oh, 
And what do I have that I can use to make air bubbles? Reeds would be great. I left my reeds back at spawn. Ah, oh, darn it. Make air pockets with torches. Yes, I can do that. Um, I was thinking of something more permanent. Uh, more permanent based. I think I might just use reeds. Where's my torches? There's my torches. Okay. I gotta reconfigure my inventory since I had to jump all this stuff in the chest earlier. Okay. I need to make a backpack soon as well. Is there anything I might need? Food. Is there anything else that I might need when I go down there? I don't see anything in there. I don't. S I, oh, wood. I need to take wood with me. Well, if there's a mine shaft down there, I can get plenty of wood down there, but I'm going to take wood with me just in case. Oh, and a crafting station as well. Because uh, I might I might find blocks. Yes. Do I have cobblestone? Oh, I can grab cobblestone from the, the, qu the quarry. Take my axe, my pickaxes. Um, I might be collecting a lot of wood while we're down there. I don't plan on doing s super whole lot. Where's my waypoint here? Oh, it's in the in the building. Okay. Uh, spawn. I'm gonna go get my reeds. I planted some earlier, so they should be grown by now. Yep, they're fully grown. Wait. Oh, they're three blocks. Okay. I thought they were four blocks for a second. Twelve. I think that's right. Three, six, nine, twelve. Yep. Because there's four stacks. Oh. Waypoints. Duke Village. Teleport. All right. I got my breathing tubes now. I can make breathing stations. Go down there. I kind of want to do a little bit like Subnautica now. Uh, Caleb, I don't know if, if you've seen me play Subnautica or not. But it's like living under the ocean. Like making bases and stuff. I kind of want to do that now for my, my quarrying system. I can't see a thing. Oh, I don't want to... <gasps> oh, oh, you can't place these on gravel. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Go, get down there. Okay. Uh, I should have brought sand or dirt with me, and I forgot my my uh, cobblestone anyway, so I, I can just get some from up here. Uh, there's cobblestone. Um, I need to get some sand or dirt. Actually, I shouldn't use sand. I should use dirt because I'm going to be needing sand to make glass later. Dirt, I don't think I'll need it. I'll, uh, I'll have plenty of dirt, probably. When I start building my railroad, a lot of us can be going through cuts and stuff, so I probably will have tons of dirt. Unless I need to fill, make a fill or something. Um... Put, put this there. I just need a couple dirt. I don't need a whole lot. And it's going to be nighttime, isn't it? Yep. The worst time to be going down. And I will make this first breathing spot right here. Okay, so there's a breathing tube there. Now I need to make another breathing tube this way somewhere. Whoops. There we go. Another breathing tube. Fill that hole in and that hole in so I don't get sucked down into it. And then where is the corner of this quarry at? <coughs> Ugh. I felt some brains come out on that one. Oh, the edge of the quarry is right there. So I will... Oh, gosh. There we go. Well, that works, too.
Oh, thank you. I plan on finishing Subnautica still playing it. I just haven't played it for a couple, couple days. I'm currently in the process I don't of think there is a true end of Subnautica yet. No, there's not. That's one of the reasons I'm not in a rush for it. So, this mineshaft literally went nowhere. Maybe there might be more on the other side. Yeah. Nothing. This running water is going to be annoying. I'm trying to go caving. If I run into this. The one thing bad about making a quarry in the ocean is... Granted, you don't see this giant hole in the ground. But... It wrecks the ocean underneath where, you, where you'd be building at. So what I'm going to be doing after I'm done is I'll probably take a filler or a builder, I'm not sure what they're called, and fill in the fill it in with cobblestone. There's ore right there and right there, but I don't think I want it right now. Because I'll, I'll be moving the quarry over this way later anyway. Honestly, I don't even need to collect this wood because I'm going to be moving the quarry later. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, this is amazing. Except for the fact there's water flowing everywhere that I don't want it to be. There, oh, there's iron right there. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. Oh, gosh. That would have been a really bad fall. Okay, so can't go that way. Making the staircase down so I can get up. If this goes to a dead end, I'm actually going to be happy with that. Yeah, it's just a dead end. Petrol, iron. I'm only down here to get rails. Everything else I can grab uh, with a, with when it starts to quarry. Out I think I would call that a successful mining trip. Nice. What'd you get? I will. I will get diamonds if I see diamonds, though, or gold, because I need that uh, right away. Sixteen diamonds, almost two stacks of gallium, uh, two and a half stacks of iron, aluminum. Petroleum, copper. Okay, yeah. A couple stacks of lapis and redstone. Oh, I forget if I asked you earlier. Do you do you know how to build backpacks? I also just find them. In. Oh, I'll have to look it up then, and uh, build one eventually. Cause I even though I have a quarry si quarrying system set up. Oh, I'm just gonna remove that. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. I don't need to remove a whole bunch because the quarry will pick it up. I already can have been. I've already confirmed that the quarry will pick up fences and wood while it's mining, so I can just leave this here and I'll just get it later. And in fact, I can actually have it set up so that the steam engines use use. Uh, I can have it set up so that the steam engines will actually use the uh, wood from the this place to run. But I'd be worried that if it ran out of mine shafts, it would run out of wood before it got, like it just it just run out. Put it that way. I might be able to find some dungeons or something down here too. I probably should be more prepared when I came down, but I think I've got everything I need, which I'm gonna regretting. I'm gonna regret saying that probably, but I feel okay. I don't want to lose this rail. Rails are super hard to make because of railcraft changing the recipe for them. It's like insanely difficult now. Actually, I should have left that pathway right there. I found a big dark hole of despair. Now, the quarry will not pick up these torches because the ocean will destroy the torches and they'll fall to the ground. Um, 
but I'm not worried about losing torches. I can always make more. They're really cheap anyway. And I've already lost my way out. What is that? Is that copper? Copper, yeah. I think having an iron ore bush and a gold ore bush would be great. Diamond would be cool too, but I don't know if they actually have those. I know I'm not going to find anything up this way, like diamonds or anything like that, but I'm just kind of exploring to see how big this system is. These ore berries, I'm not sh or these ore bushes or whatever, I'm not sure if water destroys them or not. They, they might get destroyed by water, which means I might have to manually farm those. But it's not that big of a deal anyway. They're not, I mean they're nice, but they're not like a must-have item. Pretty much it's a bush that you can grow minerals on. And I only need one in, really to get started. No, they aren't destroyed by water. Oh, cool. Typing it into Twitch? Okay. At least I have another Twitch, another person watching me on Twitch. Your background noise pick up or something? No. No. Oh. I was just wondering, because I've never seen you type in my Twitch before. I didn't even know that you actually knew what my Twitch was. You use the same name for everything, really? Not everything, okay? On Perfect World, my name is Taylor Duke. And I'd like to say it's Taylor as in a guy, but it's not. It's based off of an old, old meme. Well, more like a personal, it's not, I wouldn't say meme, it's like a personal, uh, inside joke. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Um, oh, snap. I don't know why nothing spawned yet, but I'm gonna take it before it's too late. If I had silk touch, I could silk touch these cobwebs. Do I really want to destroy this? Well, if I don't, the quarry won't destroy it anyway. At least gives me XP. Here's some mushrooms. They're practically worthless. As far as I understand. Any more mine shafts? I don't see I see a giant hole down there. But I don't see any more mine shafts. Having those ores removed sure has made some interesting holes in the ground. Which actually can be kind of beneficial in a way. Because it makes caves that weren't uh, previously attached uh, become attached. Seriously, where's all the spiders at? Why would, why did none of them spawn? Because it's so peaceful. Why is it on peaceful? It shouldn't be on peaceful. Slash game mode? No, it's not game mode. What is it? Oh, difficulty. How about you? Set it to um, medium, whatever that is called. I think it's normal. Oh, I just came back, right? Well, that's... That was a small mine shaft. I'm actually disappointed by that. I need to get back up to the top so I can turn the uh, quarry. Oh gosh! <sighs> oh. oh, heart attack! Dang it! Okay. So Caleb, if you if you're able to join the server, is there anything you're looking forward to uh, doing when you get on? Like like any mods that you want to mess with? This this mine shaft spawned, and then the cave seemed to have spawned through the mine shaft, like it did it in reverse order. Is that a mine shaft up there? It's gotta be. That is just weird if it wasn't. I should be using my hammer, I guess, a little bit, but I don't really need it just to make little pathways. Almost all my tools are red. I do have another pickaxe, so that's not too bad. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. The uh, the thud noise of your mic turning back on just gave me a shock. So I was just thinking about if I'm going to dig up into lava or something. And now I hear a spider. There's a couple spiders. Is that a spawner maybe? I don't know. There's something purple over on my map. And I'm not sure what that purple is. That's me. Are you in a cave underground? No. Oh, you must be above ground then. Okay. It says I'm somewhat close to you, actually. It looks like. Where the frick is this cave? I'm glad that was not gravel. I would have taken in damage from that. Oh, there's that wood. The question is, where's the... Where's it go? Oh, there's the water. I must have dug up too high. That's why I couldn't find it. Ah! Yeah. Are you kidding me? It was a mine shaft that was like not even three segments long. Some like chests with like dungeon goodies in it would be kind of nice. Well, I'm going to use this hammer and just get through this wall. See if I can find anything else. Nope. There's spiders. So oh my gosh, there's a bunch of spiders up there. There must be one of those spawners nearby. Okay. Okay. They're ahead of me. Okay, we're getting close. What are the, what are yellow uh, entities for? I have no idea. Are the yellow entities the spiders? Must be. Oh gosh. I need a fence. There we go. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I did not, I thought I had a fence there. I thought I had a fence there. At least they don't do a whole lot of damage. It's just the poison. Oh, I can't put a fence there because... Okay, and there's rails in there, which means it's actually beneficial for me to explore it. I can't get around that corner very well. I don't really have to conquer that. Oh gosh. Um, I don't really have to conquer that. I just need to find the rails and follow those. And this mine shaft says there's something this way. Possibly? Yes, there's a. Oh. Yeah, there is. Gosh dang it. Screw you all. you hitting me through the fence oh my gosh die die little vermin little vermin die is that actually a closed off room it looks like it is so I can destroy that spawner from here Oh, well, that's handy. My, my only sword just broke. Okay, an axe does just about as much damage anyway. Alright, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah, got it. Okay. 
Is there anything on the inside of this gravel? I think there is. Well, there's water on the inside of that gravel. But that's not what I was looking for. Can I block that up? Oh gosh, come on. I think that might be the ocean up there. I think I've seen daylight. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. I had an idea that's what that was when I seen wood that was two blocks vertical like that. I think it's the only time that it spawns like that. Is that the ocean? Yeah, that's the ocean. Oh, this is where I came in at. Or the, the, where I explored at earlier. Okay. That doesn't go anywhere. What's this white thing right there? Oh, it's that. Huh. I mean, that makes sense. I was wondering, because it looks like a picks a lot of place. I think there might be a mine shaft on the inside of this. You know what? I should use my hammer. Yeah, that's why I use the hammer. That was a lot faster, more productive. But that still didn't go anywhere. Alright, I'm going to head back up to the top now. Turn. Oh gosh, don't fall down there. If I see any wood in there, I should make a system so that if wood gets into the gets in there in some way, it will actually stop the quarry from running. Before I head up, I'm going to go ahead and finish making some of these breathing platforms. Other ones I'll mess with later. Here's one right there. These might grow to be three tall on their own. I'm not sure if they will. And I'll plant some along the shore so that I can have more for later. Alright, turn this thing on. Yeah, I need to make a system so that if logs, or if, not logs, if a uh, uh, wooden fence, if a wooden fence or a wooden plank gets introduced into the system, it will shut it down. That way I can go get these rails before they despawn. I would have lost 35 of them if I wouldn't have went out and got them. So I need to make a book. That's one of the things I need to make for sure. I also need to make a place to store all these materials as well. An actual warehouse. I never did finish this house. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a day and end my stream here. Uh, Dizzy, if you're still there, I will try to... If you're, if you're still there, hop into the Discord and I'll try to talk you through uh, getting the Minecraft thing set up for you so you can join the server. Uh, and I'll, be I'll probably be continuing building uh, while I'm off, off stream. So, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.